Life returns yeah. to the streets of Yangon as residents stock up on groceries at the local market with little military presence in sight. Banks have reopened and phone and internet connections are back up, though uncertainty is in the air. This taxi driver hasn't had a single customer all day. This route to the city's international airport has been closed off by the military, who appear firmly in control since Monday's coup. The army has already replaced 11 ministers and deputies and has called a state of emergency. The whereabouts of Myanmar's de facto leader Aung San Suu Kyi was unclear. Sources in her party, National League for Democracy, say she is under house arrest at her official residence. Meanwhile, it is understood that hundreds of members of parliament are being held in government housing in the capital. For the NGO Human Rights Watch, the army's actions are a huge blow for the country's democratic transition. The great fear now is, of course, all the people who spoke out against the military over the years during the democracy all have to go into hiding. Uh, they could be facing retaliation. We're very concerned that we're going to, again, return to the pre-2010 situation. The coup comes after the army refused to accept November's election results, which gave Aung San Suu Kyi's party a landslide victory. The army accused her of fraud, which was denied by the country's electoral commission.